got my notifications. And Twitter's got this algorithm. I don't know what it is, but Woody's always on my <laughs> Twitter page. Always on my Twitter page, liking the tweet somebody else said about me. Or it's like, yo, you're not real. I know it's savage when I come across one. You ain't one of them. You're a savage? I know I am. Like, depending on the Woody that comes out, this fight can be so quick. Quick. Look behind you. Battle of the baddest. Big, big fight. Big, big stage. Yeah. Feels like you were born for this though, right? Yeah, you know, um, some people shower when the lights come. Others, you know, kind of come out their shell a lot more. And um, I think I'm the second person. Do you think you were born to fight? Yeah. You know, it's weird. It's, I genuinely believe, because you know some people are born for different, not that they're born for different reasons, but some people are just meant to do certain things. I think fighting genuinely is mine. Um, yeah, I'm just it's just in my DNA. Doing it from a kid, you know, um, it's nothing new now. So it's just something I'm good at, um, as well as other things. But if I'm good at fighting, why not get paid for it and uh, enjoy it on the big stage? You're just always down for a tear up. Always. <laughs> if I just clear your mind completely, right? So nothing's going on. Then I. Uh, just drop Fabio Wardley's name into there. What starts going through your head? Honestly? Yeah. Nothing. He seems like an all right fella, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, he doesn't need to show off in front of his friends and all of that. He seems to be all right. But, uh, yes, yeah, so nothing really goes through my mind. Nothing. I don't even think about him, honestly. And I mean, I think about him in terms of fighting him, but in terms of anything else, then nah, you don't really get the thought process, you know, um... I've got so many other things going through my mind that I like to think about, that he's not one of the people that I think about. How can you not think about him? It's the biggest, it's the biggest fight of your life so far. Now, in boxing, don't get me wrong, I think about him. What he does, his tendencies, the propensities and, and whatnot. But, um, but I've got to think of him in terms of like, what goes through my mind and what's his, what's his mm. like, personality or what's anything else. And no, I don't think about it like that. I just think of him in a, from a sh strictly boxing aspect. Asked him the same question the other day. He, he said, you're pretty useless. Mm. Thoughts? Useless at what, though? What you just said, useless for the most part, and then yeah, started going He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, I think Wardy's just one of them guys. You know what it is with Wardy? He, he don't have his own sort of personality. He just likes to listen to other people and whatnot. He ain't, he ain't real. He ain't himself. He's just acting. You know, um, depending on the room he sits in, his personality will change. You know what I mean? It's not like that with me. I'm just me unapologetically so yeah that's how he feels that's how he feels to him I probably am but to other, many other people I definitely ain't what's your, your tattoo we was just going for it it's yeah. something about w what's in the heart is it says what you hide in your heart is red in your eyes so you've had a few that's how I know Woody's talking nonsense you know? so what have you read then in, in his eyes then uh, he ain't no he ain't got that grit in him he ain't, he ain't a, what's on him like a savage He's got gritty, he ain't a savage though. Um, he's on fighting and having a tear up. He's on all of that stuff. He's on, he's on that, but he's not a savage. You know, um, I know a savage when I come across one. He ain't one of them. You're a savage? I'd like to think I am. I mean, I'd like to think I am. I know I am. These, um, this fight, what does it represent in your career? It's a good step up for me. You know, um, you know what they say, every fight you have is your most important fight until you get past it, right? My last fight, even if he's a nobody, he's the most important fight at this stage in my career. Um, so, yeah, it's an, it's an important fight right now. Um, but it's just one of them ones where, look, your memory is at the end of the day. So you've got to go out there and enjoy yourself. It's all going to be a memory sooner or later. And um, So, yeah. Do you respect him? In what way, though? Well, look, let, let me put it to you. I asked him, do you respect David Adelaide? Immediately, he said no. Yeah. And then he went on to elaborate. He doesn't like the way you carry yourself. It's funny they say that, you know, because no one in boxing, I've got very few friends uh, in boxing. And um, very few when I say that, like, I've got a handful of friends in boxing. But everyone says, I don't like, I've heard someone else say he doesn't like, I don't like the way he carries himself. How do I carry myself? Because I'm confident. Like, what is it? I actually, that's what I've got to ask, is it because I'm confident? Um, but a lot of them won't know what to say. You ask them the question, what is it he does? Is it because he's confident? Yeah, he's confident. So what's wrong with him being confident? Or, because I ain't arrogant. I told you, there's a fine line. You put me in there with certain people. You say, Dave, do you want to 
do you think you'll beat? I'll be like, nah, not right now. Not in this stage of my career. Because it doesn't take away from my confidence. I'm still confident in myself. But if you ask some question about being real, I'll be real, I'll be real about it. Um, so, yeah, when people say things like that, it's just, it's boo-hoo. I've never sat at a dinner table with them. I've never spoke to them for, for more than five minutes. Um, obviously, the altercation that happened the last time, you probably why he's saying that. But, yeah. And I'm, I don't, it's not that I don't respect them, I don't disrespect them. It's just nothing really to it. What do you think you do better than him? In Everything the ring? in terms of boxing. Um, yeah, he ain't, he ain't got nothing over me in boxing. Nothing. Nothing. Speed, power, agility, IQ, he's got nothing over me. So and he's, he's had more fights than you so far. He's 16 and 0. Yeah. Uh, have you seen things in those fights to make you think, yeah, look, I'll, I'll have a bit of that? Yeah. What? Uh, I'll tell you in the press conference. Okay. So what he has to say. Or oh, I think we'll be doing a face off fight afterwards. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're gonna keep that keep that to yourself. Um I've heard you refer to yourself as like a, a real lifer. You're mm. not one of these internet guys. Yeah. Like I give an example again. My socials, I, I don't really control my socials, but there's times I go on my socials, oh you've got notifications. I go on my notifications. And Twitter's got this algorithm. I don't know what it is, but Woodley's always on my <laughs> Twitter page. Always on my Twitter page. That's because you've been stalking his profile. So every time, looking at it. maybe because people take mentioning me, him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every time I go on Twitter, he's talking about something. Or he's liking the tweet somebody else said about me. Or it's like, yo, you're not real. You know what I mean? You're just you're doing everything online. Everything you do is like, he listens to what people have to say online rather than making his own assumptions. Um, it's what people say. And he likes it, or he likes this, or he tweets about this, and he does this, and what are you on about? It's just, you know what, I don't feed into none of that, because it's not the real world. You know, um, I do, I respect everyone who's got their own opinion, but yeah, we live in a world where everyone's got access to an opinion now. You know, 20, 30 years ago, you couldn't contact somebody from sitting in your bedroom, you couldn't. Obviously, but the world we live in now, anyone can tweet, they can get to you, they can get to this person. You know, um, it don't matter who you are, you can be the biggest star. You could be Tyson, you could be Ngannou. Um, someone could tweet them, they might see it. Oh, look, somebody's tweeted at me. So, um, you don't feed into it because it's not the real world. You know, um, so yeah, that's what I mean when I say I'm a real life. I'm not in the, I'm not like on the socials like that. I don't really look into it too, too deeply. Look, I don't want to go into it too much, but you've had a couple of interactions with him so far. The first time, peace, yeah? yeah? Handshakes, love. Were you surprised by what happened the second time? I was. Like I said to you, because I... You know, the first time I, I, we saw each other was at his press conference. I said, there's no malice. I said it to you. Even the second, there's no malice. But I said, I retaliate. So what I do is I go off energy. So if you're giving me a certain energy, I'm just going to change my energy towards you now. So the first time we seen him, there ain't no problem. Yeah, we shook hands. Good luck on your fight. I don't want to get in your head too much before you've got a big fight coming up. So we leave it. Then I see him again the last time. There ain't no problem. I've walked in. There ain't no problem. And then the energy changes and whatnot. And then when I match the energy, they don't like it. So it's like, if you don't like it, then change your energy. You know, um, I'm like water. You know what I mean? I can go with the flow. So that's basically what it was. It was nothing to do with me trying to go there and throw my weight around. It's just me going out there matching energies. Um, I saw someone, people were talking out. I came in there with a load of people. He was in there with more people than me. It was me and three others. Um, but we're just so good at matching people's energies. It looks like there's a thousand of us. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's the case in the ring? Wherever he wants to go, you can go there with him? Literally. However the fight... However, what, what would he comes out depends on what's going to happen to him. Realistically. He's going to get stopped regardless, but it just depends on what, whatever, how he comes. Are you like more motivated to do, to do a job on him? Because nah. of it, all the, everything that's happened, are you more like, oh, I've got to make sure I knock this guy out? I'm not more motivated, because I've always been motivated, but it's just more so, I just know what I can do. You know, um, like I'm in the gym, I'm not thinking, oh my days, like after this, I've got to go harder. I'm going hard anyways. I'm going home sore. You know, um, like I hate camp. People don't really, I hate camp. You're not meant to like camp, you know, um, I hate it. People are saying I love camp. I don't like camp, I hate it. I wake up sore, my body's in bits, you know, um, so yeah, I'm always putting in the work. You've sparred a lot of people, mm -hmm. everyone, 
Hay, Joshua, Fury. Um, what sort of advice have you taken from that and what, what, how could that help you beat Fabio Wardley? Yeah, it's, it's more so experience. You know, we've all got two arms and two legs. Everyone whacks, um, but it's about experience and mindset. So that's more or less the advice I've taken about the mindset. You know, um, there's a lot of fighters that are less talented than fighters that they beat. But sometimes it's their mindset that separates them from the others. So. Final thing, how's this fight going to go then? I stop them. Could it be a quick fight? Yeah. I'm taught, yes, yeah. Like, depending on the Woody that comes out, this fight can be so quick. Quick. All right, looking forward to it. Good to speak to you, my Appreciate friend. It. All good? That do you fellas, thank you. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I just wish we were somewhere with a little more action. Hey, Greg. You wish for a little more action? I do wish for more action, Mike. As you wish, Greg. You have such a nice time. Let's party! Greg, we're just getting started. Bye, sucker. For a little more. <laughs> Is that all you got? Be careful what you wish for, Greg. Two wishes left.